Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today I would do a makeup look using the Avon Oh What Fun Mega Palette. Um, this debuted in Campaign 25 and we've been in Campaign 25 now for about three days. Uh, it started on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's Friday actually, so four days now. Um, and it's really kind of a fun palette and so I thought I would uh, just do a look with it, you know. Um, if you hear people talking in the background at all, it's because our neighbors are over. They came over to check got our new flooring and so they are up they are over having coffee with Keith and my mother-in-law while I do this um I already have prepped my face with um my foundation and powder and I did my brows and everything and I'll show you what I have on my face but I'm also wearing those um party pave hoop earrings in the hematite shade I thought I would show you guys what those look like on they're really pretty that's a nice um uh, size for a hoop and they're very comfortable they're not heavy they don't pull or anything like that I love my hoops I'm just drawn to hoops I love hoops I think they're fun and elegant and I just really love the hoops so anyways <laughs> um, but uh, I do have on the um, Smashbox photo finish primer water in the so chill coconut formula this was like on clearance at the end of last summer or something and i bought a full-size bottle of it usually i just use the trial size bottles because they last so long but this was on sale and it's a full-size bottle and it was like the same price as the trial size so i definitely picked it up um and then for foundation today i have on I don't think you guys have ever seen me use this one before. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick in, um, I think the shade is vanilla. I'm pretty sure it's vanilla. I bought this foundation stick after I saw Emily Noel raving about it, and I purchased it, and I wasn't cr like crazy about it. It's very dewy, um, but my skin has gotten so dry, even though we're not barely, we're not even into winter yet. So technically, this is still fall, and so I thought I would use it. I used it yesterday and um, today, so yeah so you know yeah <laughs> uh, I do have my Avon transforming contour stick in light um, I managed to dig some more out until I get my new one uh, which I'll probably place my order next week so I love that stuff I have on my Ben Nye pretty pink setting powder and then um, for my brows I actually this leads me to something I picked up this um, I didn't pick it up I purchased it uh, from one of the sales I don't think I don't know if it was Sephora or if I got it at Nordstrom, but anyways, um, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Best Brow Ever Kit. You know how they always have these kits out at, at um, the holiday time, and I've heard so much stuff about um, ABH brow products. Like they're so fantastic. So um, this one came with the um, like a, a colored brow gel, the brow with skinny pencil, which was, this one was in the full size, and then a setting, clear setting gel. Um, and it also has like a little kit that tells you how to do it. So, um, I don't know, is the cost on here or not? It doesn't say the cost. I can't remember. It wasn't very expensive. But anyways, I picked that up and um, I purchased that. And today is the first day I've used it. And I really like it. I got it in the shade medium brown. And I thought it did a good job. I used all three pieces and I'm very pleased with it. So, um, but what that leads me to, to wonder is I kind of did a haul from Sephora during the VIB sale. And I also purchased some stuff from Macy's. And I don't know if I did Nordstrom or not. I can't remember. But anyways, I didn't know if you guys were interested in seeing that. It's like, it's like high-end beauty stuff. Um, and I didn't know if anybody wanted to see it or not. I got some eyeshadow palettes and um, one face palette, um, some lipstick kits and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys are interested because I'll definitely show that. I just never know. You know, people get funny sometimes. I just didn't know. Um, so let me know if you want me to and I will haul that for you guys if, if you are interested. Um, then I already have my eyeshadow primer on today, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. And for lips, I have a very light layer of this Crave Lip Gloss from Avon in the shade Strawberry Glaze or Gla Glace Strawberry Glaze. I really like this one. I like any kind of like pinks that have like a purpley blue shift to them. And it's really, really light. It goes on really sheer, but it just gives you like this nice little, I don't know, and it smells really good. I really like this one. It came in that, um... Um, Life is Sweet Crave Kit that we have for the holiday season. So, okay. Well, let's get started because I keep talking and talking. So, um, we're going to use the Owood Fun Kit. And we'll start with the side that has the blushes and the bronzer, or blushes and highlights. And it is in the tray that pulls out from the bottom here. So, you pull it out. I'm going to remove these applicators so that they won't fall all over everywhere. 
So we have our blushes across the top here, and then they call these highlighters. I don't know in what crazy world they're living in that these are highlighters, <laughs> but we'll try and work with it and see what we can do, right? All right, so let me get my brushes. I'm going to use the um, I Am Flawless brushes that Avon has out for holiday season right now, and I'm actually going to try to use one of these darker blush shades as a contour. Let's try this next to last one right here. Let's try using a little bit of that in the contour. And we will see whew, what happens. Because I already have my contour on. Ooh, we're going to have to blend that out. But I'll put some more on the other side. Do you have a mirror over here? I was going to use my stipple brush, and then I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll try just using the tip of that and see. Okay, that's definitely got a lot of payoff there, as you can see. A lot of payoff. So we're going to blend it out. We're going to shear it out with my big buffing brush. That makes quite a difference. Yeah, see? Quite a difference there. And then I think I will go to my stipple brush for the blush shade. So I think I will do, and these are all, I don't know. I'll do another video with swatches, so I'm not really sure what is um, shimmery and what is matte at this point. But I'm going to try, we're going to try to use this one here. My And my brush is dirty, yes. I'm going to try to use this one, which they consider a highlight. We're going to use that as a blush. And we're just going to put a little bit, just a little bit on that stipple brush. I have a mirror off to the side here, so... I do think that's pretty though. I just think it's funny that they consider those highlights. They're pretty bright. And then I'm going to take my big um, buffing brush again and kind of go over that. And then for a highlight, I think I'm actually going to dip into the eyeshadow side. So we're going to call it a day, even though we've only used two shades in there on that. And you can see this is where I tapped off <laughs> my brush. So I'm going to slide that back closed, and we will open it up, and we'll see what we have going on for shadows. So there is a big mirror in here. And the first tray is more like your neutrals. And then when you slide that over you're going to reveal your uh, colored shades. So I'm looking for, and again, there is not one single matte cream shadow, or like cream color or white shadow to use as the under brown under brow highlight. It, it just blows my mind. <laughs> it's so funny how Avon does that. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for something to use as a highlighter. And I think I'm going to go for this uh, next to last in the colored tray on the top row there. Kind of, it's hard for me to hold this and show you guys because I don't want to drop it. I definitely do not want to drop it. So, yeah. So that, if that pink is a little quad, we're going to do the one at the top there. So we're just going to dip a small brush 
into that and we're going to see if we can use it as a highlight. Now that's a little excessive, so I'm going to tap that off. So you can really see that. Ooh, but I kind of like that. It's like an iridescent pink. I'm just kind of blending that. I love my glow. <laughs> All right, so let's do the other side. Yeah, you get a lot when you pick up with this brush. that oh, must be like a little little mole I have it looked funny for a minute I was like what is that yeah I like that I'm gonna put just the tiniest bit on the forehead really we'll blend it buff it in and we always have to use that is Keith gonna think I'm sweating oh, that'll be our gauge is Keith gonna think I'm sweating it's a possibility I just can't help it I love my glow I never thought I would be somebody that liked glowy products and this does have some glitters in it that particular shade just so you know but I never thought I would be somebody that liked glowy products because I always feel like I have uh, oily skin in the past. And now that I'm getting up into the wonderful area of the Big 5 next year, <laughs> I kind of like it. You know, it makes me feel like it gives me a little bit of life. All right, so let's try. I did a look the other day from the um, side that had the neutrals on it. So I'm thinking we're going to dip into these colored shades. And it might be kind of hard to show you exactly which ones I'm using. And like I said, I will do another video with um, with uh, um, swatches and everything. But I'm gonna, and I'm gonna zoom in too, actually, now that I think about it here. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the eyes a little bit better. And you can see that, what I chose to use as the highlight too, a little bit more. So I am going to, I will pick a transition shade. Um, there's not a lot of mattes in this, just so you know, even in the neutral side. So let's just go for some color. Let's go for some, I don't know which one. Let's go for some of this light green. It's like a celery shade. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's try that. more so this is one of those I am flawless brush brushes also I'm just goofing around today I don't I don't even think I'm leaving the house um we are putting everything back after we had moved it all out, all the furniture and everything, and then taking this as an opportunity to do a deep cleaning, like wash down the walls. Um, oh, I'm using the mirror. I forgot I can use the mirror that's down below in this palette instead of my other mirror, and that way I can look straight on it, you guys. Um, yeah, we're using this as an opportunity to wash down the walls and everything, and then also dust everything really good. Um, and then Keith is going to run a steam cleaner, cleaner, steam cleaner, and work on our. Um, uh, we have two recliners. One is for the dog. <laughs> And one is what we call my mother-in-law's chair. And in all actuality, the dog's chair is in better shape than my mother-in-law's recliner. We keep trying to talk her into letting us get her a new one. And she likes it because it's like shaped to her body, you know. And uh, so we're going to clean those. He's going to clean both of those, I think, tomorrow. He's going to go rent the, 
the steam cleaner. Okay, so we've got a nice little layer of green down. And then let's find a brush that I can use for my crease. I've got a bunch of brushes here. I'm trying to figure out which one. I think I'll use one of my regular brushes for the crease. Sorry. Um, and let's pick... Trying to decide. I don't want to use purple because if I use purple and green, I might look like I have a black eye. So I'm gonna use another green. It's like a darker olive shade. Can you see that? It's like a darker olive. We're gonna try putting it in the crease. <coughs> so as you can see, there is a lot of payoff in this uh, green shade here. And the other one did really well too. I thought it blended out super nice. So I'll have to do a separate video with swatches of this. I love green eyeshadow anyways, which will be a little bit evident in the, um, if you want to see a haul that I did of my other eyeshadow palettes, I got quite a bit of stuff. I always tell myself that I'm not going to, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to buff that out a little bit with a big fluffy buffing brush. Um, I always tell myself I'm not going to haul a bunch of stuff during those holiday sales and then I end up doing it, but I'm an emotional shopper, I'm not even going to lie, I'm also an emotional eater, and when we went through the October, it was such a dark month for us with Keith's dad being so sick and I was home alone all the time, and or with just my mother-in-law, and uh, I was worried about Keith, I was worried about his dad, I was worried about my own mother because I wasn't able to get out and spend as much time with her. And it's just like, I I shopped, you know, I did, and it is what it is, and I could have returned everything, but I didn't. And so, you know, I didn't. So, blended out really nicely. Don't you think? I think it did. I think it really did. Alright, now we have to find a lid shade. And I just am a little nervous about this because I always have a tendency to end up looking like Bozo the Clown. <laughs> And I don't want to do that here. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to stay in the green family? Do I want to go for... Um, I'll tell you, one of the one of the rows I love in this palette that I think is so much fun is that row of yellows. Like the oranges and the yellows. They're so pretty. So pretty. I'm thinking about trying... Let's try that middle mustard color. This this mustardy, sparkly shade right there in the middle. Let's try that and see what happens. So I'm going back to my I Am Flawless brushes. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, this one has good color too. Oops, I'm going to turn my mirror back around so I can see what I'm doing. Wow, you guys. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I wish Avon would do these kind of fun, really good payoff item like eyeshadows all year long. But hopefully with LG at the helm, these will be some changes that we'll be seeing. 
hope this eyeshadow doesn't look like a um a burger, like you got mustard and pickles. <laughs> <laughs> right so I think I'm gonna blend a little bit more green on the outside um, I'm gonna go back into that green shade that I put on my crease in my crease and we're gonna blend some of that in a little bit just to kind of hopefully tie in that mustard shade just to so it doesn't look so crazy So interesting, isn't it? We'll do the other side. Twenty minutes. I got twenty minutes. I better stop talking so much. Got a text. Alright, and I'm gonna blend this a little bit. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm gonna throw in some more of this. Do I want a little bit more green in the bottom? But I'm going to use a deeper one. The very bottom green. It's kind of like almost a forest type shade. Just to put in the lower lash line. It's the bottom one in that row. And then I'm going to take my blackest black glimmer stick and I'm going to tight line like I do. Oh, my eyes starting to water. I'm going to smudge that out a little bit, and I brought a smudge brush. Oh, actually, this is, I think I can smudge it with, uh, I can smudge it, I think, with this brush from the I Am Pretty, or I Am Flawless brush set. shut that palette up and then I am going to shut that palette up I should have grabbed my blue mascara because that would have really topped this off but I have since I don't have another Avon mascara yet at this time I'm gonna use the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that I already have I know this is an interesting look I've never done anything I don't think like this with a yellow eyelid before so interesting you always have to try something new right
Even this mascara is starting to get clumpy on me. I need a bunch of new mascaras. I like playing with color, you know, experimenting with colored eyeshadows. I just, I find it satisfying and fun and everything. I mean, I know that everybody can't wear a green and yellow eye look to work or, you know, some people just aren't into that thing, but I like neutrals too. It's just that I like to experiment and, and play with makeup and I'm luckily in the right field where, oh, sorry, where I can do that. I also am lucky that I have, or blessed, I guess I should say, not lucky, that I have a husband who appreciates when I come up with crazy eyeshadow combinations. Uh, I know there's a lot of ladies that have their spouses uh, or significant other do not appreciate <laughs> the uh, colors that are not found in nature. Although green and yellow, then it's my opinion that they're all found in nature because flowers and and birds and you know trees and everything. So blues in the water, purple in the sunset. So next time somebody tells you that, let them know. Oh, buddy, this is found in nature. Really quick second coat here. I hate to go over 30 minutes with this video. That wasn't my intention, but I always talk so much. And honestly, I didn't expect to come up with a green and yellow look today. That was not what I was thinking. I was thinking I'd use like the purples or the blues, but... So we can do another look. I'll do a neutral look from this too. Just so you can see how those do. Alright, now I will zoom out and then we'll call this video quits because it's going to be a billion hours long. Alright, so we'll go back out. So there you have it. And then when you see it far away, it's not quite so, you know what I mean. But, yeah, interesting, I think. Very interesting. Very different. Fun. Different. Fun and different. So let me know what you guys think. Um, two things I want you to give me feedback on. I want you to tell me if you want to see a haul video of my high-end stuff that I hauled, the holiday stuff. And then also let me know what you guys want to see. What kind of looks you're interested in um, from this palette. The neutrals and then the, uh, let me making a mess while I'm doing this, showing you guys, there we go, the neutrals, uh, blues, more greens, purples, tell me what you want to see, all right, yeah, so I'll list everything in the description section below with the product numbers as well as a link to where you can shop my e-store if you are interested, I appreciate you coming along with me while I goofed around with this palette, and um, I thought it was fun. So I will see you guys in the next video for sure.